Hey guys, Roxy Saran here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Paris Saran. She is our puppy girl. We want to talk about today, are essential oils safe for dogs and cats? For our littlest members of our family, our fur babies, we're going to demystify this topic today. So you'll definitely want to stick around and find out what you can do for your furry little family member and for optimal health for your pet. Be sure to hit subscribe and bell notification and also the like. So there are tons of myths out there and crazy viral videos. I'm sure you've seen them as well, right? Well, don't believe everything that you don't believe everything that you see or read. The truth is that most essential oils are bad for your pets because they're not pure. They're they have tons of synthetics in them, and so. Um, be, why Adrian and I work with doTERRA, we'll link that above for you, why we got started with doTERRA and the sourcing and the testing that doTERRA undergoes, their purity and their quality standards. They're the only company that we would ever choose. So yes, there are tons of oils out there that are not pure and because they don't know what's in them because they haven't done the testing, then yes, you probably should not be using those on your pets and even in your home aromatically. And so uh, make sure you know the company that you're using, the testing and the research that they undergo and so that is the only reason why our family uses doTERRA and we feel really confident using that so if you're new to our channel be sure to go to roxysaran.com and you can get started with essential oils get your starter set there or just shop for one or two products so yes doTERRA essential oils are safe for your dogs and cats but we do want to give you some tips so always make sure that you're diluting for topical use and always less is more they just don't need as much so less is more a carrier oil that is great for dilution is something like a coconut oil doTERRA has an excellent fractionated coconut oil or olive oil or almond oil those are awesome to use another thing is if you your uh, pet is using a dermal patch a skin patch don't use any essential oils on that area during that time just to be sure Another thing is that you never want to use essential oils near the eyes or ears, their um, nose, or of course their genitals. So just the same as you would for adults or for people, we avoid all of those sensitive areas. Also, when you're diffusing with your pets, make sure that you're diffusing in an open area with the doors open where your dog or cat can leave and roam easily. Never diffuse in an area and close the door for your pet where they're trapped in there. We want to be able to have maximum airflow where they're able to leave if they don't like that particular smell. All right, another thing with pets is to be sure to use caution if they're pregnant or nursing or very young puppies or kittens. Always use less less is always more and if for any reason you do have any type of adverse reaction most of those are usually a skin sensitivity you would just dilute with a carrier oil and avoid using for a few days and see if that um, alleviates okay so those are the top things that you definitely want to make sure that you are taking notice of when you're working with pets and essential oils so what are the top oils that are good for pets Frankincense is one of those oils that is very mild for the skin and also for your pets. So with a little bit of coconut oil or olive oil, you're going to love frankincense for pain and for skin things. Lavender is another one that's excellent for pets. Very calming, soothing, great for uh, pain. Um, when mine gets upset with fireworks, you can just do a little bit of lavender with some, <clears throat> excuse me, with some coconut oil on their belly and on their paws and it helps calm them down so much. Heliochrism is another one that's excellent for any type of skin issues that a pet may have. A little bit of coconut oil and some helichrysum will go a long way. Digest Zen is excellent for all things digestive for your cat or dog. A little bit of Digest Zen with coconut or olive oil on their belly, it helps soothe them so much. When my Paris got her vaccines at the beginning and her tummy was upset, she was having um, stomach pains, and vomiting what we did was a little bit of digestion on her belly and just within minutes she let out these most stinkiest little toots okay and after that she felt so much better and stopped throwing up so digestion has saved us quite a bit of money uh, with our vet okay on guard is an immune boost oil it can be used as well with your pet and balance is an easy one to use that has already fractionated coconut oil in there it's very calming to them so if you have a dog that's a little bit anxious or afraid maybe when you leave them at the groomer or during fireworks balance is excellent on their belly and on their paws 
And last but not least, Copaiba is a superstar with pets. Again, we have used this one when uh, she had her surgery, her spay, and you can use Copaiba a little bit diluted on their belly for pain and on their paws. So Copaiba is excellent for pain and for anxiety, and that is awesome to be able to use on our pets. Go to roxysaran.com if you're ready to get started with doTERRA essential oils. I'd be honored to help support you on your journey. You can get a starter set there or just shop for one or two products at roxysaran.com. Okay, so let's talk about some things to avoid with your cats. So first of all, cats, uh, topical and internally, you want to avoid basil, citrus oils with your cat. You'll want to avoid birch, cinnamon, clove, dill, fennel, tea tree, oregano, peppermint, thyme, rosemary, spearmint, and wintergreen. Cat's liver just process things differently. So topically and aromatically and internally. Aromatically is fine, excuse me. Topical and internally, you'll want to avoid these oils with your cat. Okay, so what about with dogs? Okay, so with dogs, again, aromatic is fine, but topical and internal, you'll want to avoid birch, tea tree, wintergreen and also use caution when using any of these hotter essential oils. They're, they have a heating sensation, and that is oregano, cassia, cinnamon, clove, rosemary, and thyme. You want to dilute those effectively and just watch your pet and see how they do with using those oils. Now, I know one of the ones that is supposed to be avoided is tea tree oil, and I do want to give an example. Sometimes our pets get those little hot spots on their skin. A little bit of tea tree with coconut oil in that small area is okay, but you don't want them taking it internally and you don't want to use a lot of tea tree. Just a little bit goes a long way. One tip for you is doTERRA's Correct X. It is an ointment that is excellent, already diluted in a base that is easy to use and safe and non-toxic. So that might be a superstar for you to check out. All right, guys, thanks so much for being here today. Be sure to hit the subscribe and bell notification and also the like. We challenge you to go to roxysaran.com and check out how you too can get started with essential oils in your own home and also for your furry family. I hope to see you in the next video where we'll demystify our candles, helpful or harmful. See you in the next video.